All right, so did you know about Jonathan Owen, a.k.a. The Spot? Now, in short, Jonathan went to MIT, and he was a roommate for Quentin Beck, and we know Quentin Beck, who will later become Mysterio. Now, eventually, he graduated, got his doctrine, and eventually, along the way, worked for the Kingpin. Now, while working for the Kingpin, he had a task, and his task was very important, and that was basically to replicate the abilities of Cloak, the superhero or vigilante named Cloak, you know, like in Cloak and Dagger. Now, he was definitely successful to a degree, but it ended up draining all of the city's like power within a matter of seconds. Now, from this, a small portal was born, and Jonathan was super excited, but he didn't want to lose it as it started to shrink, so he jumped in it. Why would he jump in it? I wouldn't jump in it. Would you jump in it? But he did. Now, when he entered this portal, he was floating, like just literally floating weightless, and he assumed that where he was, or the dimension he was, was the dark dimension that Cloak utilizes for his powers. But to his surprise, it was composed of half dark and half light, meaning that he was transported to a different dimension that was different from Cloak's. Now, what's really scary about this is as he was observing the environment around him, these small black portals started to surround him and attach themselves to him. Now, somehow, he managed to escape this dimension and get back to his lab. But when he came back, he realized that he was very different. The dimension that he was in transformed him, and he had portals that were attached to him. And he basically learned that these portals that were attached to him were basically spaceports, meaning that he had the ability to teleport from one location to another location. Now, this can get very confusing for a lot of us, especially for those of us, right, like myself, who really like to deep dive into superpowers and abilities, because I just mentioned, and it is listed, that the spot has the ability to teleport. Now, normally when we think about teleportation, it's the, it's basically a set of atoms that are, are able to repopulate themselves in another location. Now, that's not what the spot is doing. He's actually opening up a portal from one location to another location and then receiving parts of himself in that other location. Here's a here's another image that can best describe that a little bit better. So here it is. In the best way possible, the spot is basically opening a portal or opening a door and then the door reappears in another location and he's able to walk through it. This, in this case, Marvel still describes it as teleportation. Here's another image that best describes what he is doing which is opening a doorway and another doorway opens up somewhere else and is able to come out. Now, if he only puts parts of his anatomy through a door, then only part of that anatomy will open up on the other side in which he chooses for it to open up. Now, again, this could get very confusing, especially when we consider characters like Aiden Fese, who is not a teleporter, right? He is someone who talks to space or the universe around him and is able to fold it on top of each other in order to transport himself or others or items from another place to his location or to the location that he deems necessary once he's talking to the universe itself. Now, the only reason why I mention Aiden Fese is because he isn't considered a teleporter per se, so I'm not too sure why Spot is considered a teleporter when he's opening gateways in order to come out the other side or to have partial uh, transportation from the other side. But I guess I'm answering my own question when I just said the word transportation because it is a form of transportation or uh, porting from one location to another location. So in a sense, it is teleportation. I had to think that out while in the video to make sense of teleportation itself. But anyway... I digress. Let's continue. Now, even though in the comic books they have shown him to be somewhat of a joke character, his powers and abilities are definitely not a joke, right? Now, he seems to be a, a, well, not a reoccurring character, but a character that will pop up from time to time. And one of the things that was said is that he has a form of immortality, right? We've seen his head being severed off, but being able to still continue and basically reconstitute himself when he's in his well, I want to say half dark, half light dimension itself. Now, something to note about the spot is that he is not 
able to throw an unlimited amount of these spots, right? Now, Spider-Man was once able to beat the spot by making him deplete all of the spots that he had. And when I say all the spots, if you look at the spot's body, he doesn't have an indefinite number, but he has a, a definite number. And once he throws all of them out and isn't able to go from one location to another location, well, then his powers are depleted itself. Now, the question is, can he gather those spots back up? Absolutely. He could gather those spots back up. So he is a pretty unique and pretty cool character. Now, as you can see from the images that I, I've shown throughout this video, his, his appearance has changed, changed over time. Now, we've seen this character make a prominent return, but in the Across the Spider-Verse movie with Miles Morales as Spider-Man, which is pretty amazing because he's, it shows kind of an origin story that is very similar to the comic books, working for Kingpin, doing X, Y, and Z, and gaining these fantastical abilities. And he starts off kind of like a jokey character, right? Just stealing things uh, from this local shop, but then becoming something that is a whole lot more, which is probably a very integral part of the future iterations of the movie itself. But let me know what you think about the spot, anything that I've said, anything you disagree with with it when it comes to teleportation. I think it, it is a rightful term to call it teleportation and why it differs from Aiden Fese when he's uh, basically speaking to the universe and uh, the spot is utilizing these these portals and throwing them from X to Z or A to Z and being able to reach within them and come out the other side depending on where they are thrown to. But yeah, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you're enjoying the content, come back for more and see you in the comment section. Later, everyone.